first blood spills. I demand more. A pretty good amount of damage on him, but I don't think they could actually kill unless Shadow eats too many caustics. Oh, he's gonna go for a roll, but it is a miss. He falls behind, so Shadow's gonna stand right in the creeps and go for the call and try to get the spins out. Not gonna get enough to get the kill on the Sand King, but uh, the burrow out, and now Shadow only relying on RNG as the whole time. Afu had been knocking him down with the mighty bat right there, and that was enough damage to get it done. He was like permanently slow that entire time. They might go again. They may. He's got level, almost level two on the Earth Spirit, but uh, it does look like they are going to make a rotation over on the side of Wings, valuing the momentum in the lane stage early on. The Warlock comes in, but they've already made their Dead. move for Shadow here, and it looks like they may be able to get it, and they will. Man. But, uh... A little bit of damage will be spread between the two. Sunstrike, admirable one there on the side shot, but not going to catch anybody. Like, Wings originally went aggro to try to stop the Luna from farming. She's still farming on par with Shadow. Oh, man. It looks like they're going to get Faith Beyond here. Set up wonderfully from Nova with that disruption. Allows the rolling boulder, but they got a rotation oh. in with a fissure. But Faith Beyond is actually blocked at the very back end. He's going to be able to eat the tree, and he just squeezes himself right out. But, oh, man, that could have been disaster. Certainly ice ice to the rescue. Oh, bottom lane, Sunstrike, Sunstrike. Kangaroo going to get knocked down on that one. Beautifully set up there from Wings, and they get themselves on the board for this game. Now we could see some potential action here. Bottom lane, Burrow sets it up. Shadow sees that we have a revisitor here as Afu comes back to the bottom lane. Sunstrike to help, but it is mitigated between the two. He's trying to go for an ambitious dunk, but it's not there. Not enough spins to be able to get it between the both. And uh, now it's Y caught between the two. He's going to try to run himself on out, but he gets rolled upon and he goes down. Ah, boo, making more marks in the early game here. Now in the bottom as Warriors Gaming pull ahead 4-1, to one, Draskal, against your TI6 champions. My god, dude, that was so nicely played. The unfortunate part was the Sunstrike was split between the two heroes, so oh. the dunk and the... Top lane, sorry, as it looks like we have a disruption out and an Eclipse still not good enough to even get Faith Beyond as he still manages to walk away. Well... We have an Eclipse How down. How live through that? They're getting a lot going. The top lane's completely free, but here comes mid lane where Wings are trying to set a rotation. They're trying to slow down the momentum of this ridiculous Tinker, and they might get it now. The Pugna coming in with that life drain suck. They get it done, no problem. Even drops a nice little ceremonial ward on top of them. Wings gaming, though they fall behind in kills. We'll take the first structure of the game, but looking to get their own top lane. Rock's going to get dropped as they go. Big damage comes out, and they're going to be able to take what looks like two here. Ah, Jit is going to be taken down. At the end of that, and suddenly our game is back. Kangaroo, he got some good levels in, gets back to the top lane now. A successful fight here could earn him a blink dagger and really take the momentum over. So this is a huge gank opportunity right now. They're moving on in, the tower goes down, they have an Eclipse, they're looking to catch him on the way back, and they could do so. There goes the Eclipse, the Burrow's going to be on the Warlock here. Now he has no rock, they're going to quickly take down the Earthshaker, and it looks like... Y is going to be isolated here and quickly shredded apart. Three go down. All three that were standing in that top lane. The gank was successful. Dunks and rocks potentially await. Oh my god! The damage there on the Luna will wipe her out immediately. Kangaroo is going to be forced to burrow strike to get back in a way. But uh, he is not going to be able to make it too far. There's the dunk. There's the call. Wings gaming. Like... A bat out of hell, Andy. They will also get the follow-up as they take down Nana, it looks like, in the bottom lane. He saw the, me the mess maybe mid lane and tried to be a call to action and, and unfortunately got caught out. But here we go, mid lane, jump in off Fu. He's able to get the magnetize off now, spreads it between the two. It looks like Shadow could be not set for this world and he is going to be refreshing that magnetize very nicely. Shadow's certainly done for. Tries to go off with the call. Here comes Blink, looking to step in. Tries to get off a bit of a combo, not going to be able to do it. They continue to... Chase out and away here is the pursuit. They don't even care about dropping the rock board. Oh, Gonna see an epi channel here. Yep, Kangaroo looking to go in. Ice, uh, well, is going to be taken apart. Ice Ice did a nice job trying to be in a very defensive position for those creeps in case, let's say, Warriors Gaming were nearby, but this is like a. Because Major. I think Warriors Gaming are going to be expecting him to come from a different angle, and they're going to go in straight behind him, and they are not going to see this one coming. Kangaroo's in position like, to pop smokes on the way in from the direct left side, but they come up north instead. They jump on the back, and they instantly take out that Tinker. Now the Rock's going to be coming down, and Tinker's looking to get back in. Jumps on the back of a little Seder creep, and that's going to be good enough to get in there. They lose one per piece, and now the two's going to get dropped on the side of Wings. They hustle to make their way back out, but... The magnetize does spread. Now Blink, the man on the back end, trying to make his chase out and away. Gets hit with a rocket. Rolling Boulder, though, not going to be able to get connection. 
On the other side, Luna is going to get dropped there from the Warlock, and Blink's going to be able to Ghost Walk out. On the other front, Faith Beyond eats an Epi, and will be taken apart. It is a four for one trade at the end of the day. All going for Warriors game. Like, they, they just do nothing to BKB targets until Luna has farm, which is fine. But you kind of also need to be able to kill them too, whereas having a pipe, it might help you absorb a bit of the damage, but the Blade Mail, you can't use Eclipse as Luna if you don't have BKB against Blade Mail. You just kill yourself. It's, it's really, really bad. So that could be the line of thinking here. He could also be waiting for perhaps uh, Faith Beyond to pick it up after Aghanims. I think Pugna's a pretty good pipe carrier. Is... Oh, that's a dead Shadow. Yeah, Shadow is 1,000% dead. He's been hanging in hideout in those trees for quite a while. We watched the whole story unfold as he was... They're coming up the hill here. They, they have everything. that ward on the high ground. They don't know Kangaroo might be in the pit, though, is the problem. And he can make a jump over the big epicenter, oh. but there's going to be the go. And the good Burrow catches him on the back inside. Can they take out the Warlock before a rock can even come out here? No, they will not. The rock's going to get dropped right now. And that's when Earth Spitter and Warriors Gaming are going to be fending off wings. Swing and a miss on the rolling boulder there. Uh, High Size commits him with the epi to get down the Sand King. He will get dropped. Dominating now is going to be Blink, but at the end of the day, that's the only casualty of this skirmish. And what a big win it would be for a team like Warriors Gaming. Uh, probably, I imagine, one of the lower seeds in this whole tournament by most. Going against the former champions here and putting in a lot of work as they will claim another solid kill, being able to zap down Y. And that comes just before the takedown of the Roche. So, uh, to qualify through that C qualifier, but it was pretty much like faceless. That was the C team that was doing a lot of work. Fnatic wasn't really able kind of... Okay, hold on though. We're making a jump in play. Going from back and behind. Apu looking to kind of get the back liners before they can get anything off. Big combo does come out and they're going to be able to shred apart that Earth Spirit here. He'll be the first casualty. Link already committing his BKB on this one and Warriors Gaming pull off and do not want to have any more of this fight. I think they just got a bit impatient. Like they weren't killing the tower that fast and maybe Apu wanted to try to make use of the Actually, was the Aegis already down? Maybe it was. I'm not entirely sure, but it could have been fading Ooh. really soon and he might have said, Ooh. okay, let's go. Donna oh, caught Donna. there. They got a uh, nice setup. That's a big fissure. one. Yeah, Fissure and <laughs> Sunstrike into this bottom lane. Wings are still coming. Their smoke is about to expire. Shadow leading out the front. Kangaroo is the man in the back. Has been killed. Got the courier. Courier goes down, and that might spoil all the plans here for Wings, though. There's the jumping from Afu as they make, they make their pounce onto Shadow. Shadow's gonna get the call off, pops his blade mail, and quickly shreds apart the Warlock, though. So that's gonna be taken apart. He was able to get the rock down. The rock is gonna get blasted, though. Ajit rushing on in. Shadow healed up a little bit from Faith Beyond. Afu re-engages, gets off a nice stun, but there's the echo from Ice Ice and dumps it right onto Warriors Gaming, and they may not be able to follow it up. They'll get the Luna takedown, too. Beautiful stuff there from Wings, and they're not done yet. Little Nova on the other side is also going to get punished. Tinker is your only survivor. Your first confident and strong fight from Wings earns Blink a triple kill and a four-for-one trade for Wings. And they just can't do anything. Like, with the Tinker not being there to output, like, mass amounts of AoE damage, their team fight just feels very lackluster. Okay, they're trying to catch some stragglers here in the bottom lane. Afu looking to roll on in. Big Beyond, though, after being glimmered up. Gonna get purged down. Shadow, though, jumps to the rescue and tries to get a call off, but Nana and company looking to make chase. That boulder smash is not gonna get connection here. Faith Beyond looking to go for the decrepify TP, but <laughs> only amplifies the laser to the face. He will eat. Are they gonna be able to do so? Blink, a man who's never died, is the closest one, but he spots what's happening. Gets off a nice two-man tornado, still hangs around, gonna get hit from a burrow. Now pops BKB, Fisher comes in, a casual dunk, but it's not going to do a whole lot of damage there, unfortunately, for Ice Ice, but they will be able to get the jump in, they will be able to get the call, Disruption save does come out, Ajit commits him with the Eclipse, it's mitigated between the creeps and a lot of other factors here, trying to run back in the way, he's going to be Wings, they will get down Kangaroo, Blink in a lot of trouble, will go oh into Ghost God. Walk, runs back out in a way, Nana's in trouble, has no more mana, Magnetize comes off, but it might be a bit too late on this one, Warriors Gaming have not much left in the tank to offer, three-man tornado, jump and call, Shadow gets it done, triple kill for Blink, and we're not done yet, as they're going to be able to isolate and take down the Luna, another four-man drop, Tinker bought back for this, oh he's God, back he's in the fight now, him. he's trying to get Blink, he wants that bounty, can he get it? They roll in for it, and they finally kick his ass to the curb, and they will take him down. Shadow, though, still in the mix. A buyback actually comes out. Blink is not going to have any of it. He is a man who will die once, but he will not allow it. 
Warriors Gaming won't be able to make it back it away, but that Tinker died for the second time, Draskal. That is a five-man takedown on the side of Warriors Gaming. Wings will lose three, but... So as soon as Eclipse comes out, there is one BKB target, two Forge Spirits, and a Golem. Oh no. It's like, okay. This is taking too long, Andy. They are back. They are jumping in. Shadow has to run back out. He pops his BKB just in time to avoid that burrow. Blink pops his own, and he wants to just go right in on the Earth Spirit. He is going to get saved. Nice save there from the Shadow Demon. Gets off a good disruption. Blink. Running back it away. Epi, though, falling a bit short, and now his life getting sucked away. He has to burrow out. Oh, God, he got him. <laughs> Beautiful. Sunstrike comes out from Blink, and they get right back into work, going for the Roche. Jumping could be there, and they're going to look to contest it. Not going to get it. Blink picks up the Aegis, and he quickly wipes the floor with the two. Oh, no. Grasping at straws. Warriors Gaming frantic to try to put themselves back into this game that it looks like they may have lost all momentum in. Nana just desperately spreading machines all over the place too. So now their damage scaling has stopped and wings are going to continually get more tanky. The team fight potential is just not quite there. They're going to find Kangaroo. Kangaroo Sand King. And they take him out. That's 60 seconds without a buyback. No target yet. Afu nearby. And there's going to be that call play. Right onto Afu the second he makes that kick. Nice Fisher. Nice follow up rock. Connects onto three. Uh, Jit's going to be forced to BKB and run back. Pops out the Eclipse. Trying to do everything he can. A lot of it's going to be onto the Golem. Shadow. Glimmer trying to save up a lot of his life. Runs right back in ambitiously to try to get off the call. Tries to do the soak of the damage. And now Warriors Gaming go on in. They get the zap and the blast. Ice Ice commits in the dunk. Turns it back. The Luna's very low. But now Wings regroup. Posture back a bit. And uh, Warrior Gaming. But... If you're unkillable and Wings has four BKBs and they're also unkillable. Ooh, has to go for his BKB now. Tries to frantic get a refresh. Quickly gets off a rocket to prevent any sort of blinks on their side. And he is frantically trying to refresh and blink his ass out of trouble right now. Oh goodness. He makes it all the way up and over with blinks. And with it, now it's TP, he is out. Wow, that was... BKB satanic. Like, that is a hard kill. Moving on into the high ground here. They spot out Ice Ice nearby, but... Don't fully commit in, just poke him quite a bit. He'll get healed up. Roche now down to about half of its life. Wings have got to make a move if they want to do something. Meteor to the inside. Blink dances around the front gate. No hard commitment yet. Maybe look to bait something out from Warriors Gaming. Now they're going to get the force, sending Ajit to the high ground here. Wings are able to force him out, but uh, still not committing in too much. Very touch and go. Blink goes back in and sees the Roche is vacant. And sees if he can muscle it down himself. The poison stacks are slowly building up. So shut up, stop doing that as he hits him with a tornado. But that's not stopping him yet. Now off we're going to make us go along with the epi. The BKB is going to be coming off now. And so is the rock. It's going to be right onto Ajit. But Ajit continues to dish out the right clicks now. And a lot of that damage even going onto Roche here. Wings go to the south side. Crimson guard up. Wade out. Ice Ice goes back in with a dunk. But he gets quickly blasted down. Not going to be good enough. Shout to the high ground. Gets the grab onto Nana. Nana getting way too much damage from the Pugna. Meanwhile, they will be able to get the Aegis down. It's picked up from Ajit. As they are waiting inside the pit here. Shadow stuck on the high ground. They go for him. Meanwhile, Afu getting leashed a bit of his damage. Going to be able to make it back in a way. But my god, this axe continues to live while Blink goes to work on the low ground. He forces himself out to the safety area. We'll get the dunk and the takedown on the Earth Spirit. Nana is back, looking to shred them apart with the rockets coming out. Why? Frantically running away from Nova, trying to make it back out. Can't make it out. The missiles catch up, and they're going to be going for Blink. He turns back, gets off the tornado, but eventually they should be able to take him down. I say that, but he's got the BKB. He's rushing. He drops the ice wall, but eventually they hop up over that wall, and they will be able to bring him down. Triple kill for Nana. Four go down from Wings. So many ways. Nana commits time. in. Can't get his BKB Ooh. off. Oh, they get the disruption off in time, he's but dead, I think. he's dead for sure. He pops his BKB, but the damage had already been done. Lead in now. Ajit pops his own BKB. They look to turn back. Faith Beyond trying to give all the life back into him. They manages to keep him alive and well. That's going to be good. Tornado off the mark. Ajit running away. Has no more magic immunity. Trying to use the butterfly to make it out. They catch him with a dunk. And still Nova nearby. Saves him with a disruption, but he is caught between three. Ice Wall on top, Faith Beyond looking to go for the life drain here, but now jumps in Kangaroo with a big epicenter. Glimmer Cape keeps him alive, Deafening Blast forces them back. Blink now rushes out, long kick of the Boulder Smash, not going to find its target. And the ward right in the middle. Doesn't look like it. Oh my god, she is running right into him though. He just casually calls, doesn't blink in, Shadow, but... Catch him. This is a very, very awkward start. Or. Extremely awkward. On the other side, though, that's when they commit in the rock. Nana, though, with the BKB, is able to stand strong and gets his out everything he can. 
from this Tinker front. Wings step back out after taking down the Earth Spirit here. Frantic Eclipse, but drained away. That Aegis is going to be claimed there from Wings. They wait for the second life. Kangaroo trying to create a bit of space with a jump in Burrow. The lead in from Ice Ice gets off the dunk. Look at isolate this Tinker, and he is taken apart. Luna back behind the team. And Shadow Demon stuck on the high ground, it would appear. Disarm the Luna, backs out in a way, eats a bit of life drain. Kangaroo again trying to help out with that Burrow, but it's a bit too much damage. Fifth Beyond with the life drain, with the call, with Blink's Invoker. It's just too much to handle here from Warrior Gaming. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not going to be great. Well, ooh, they bought something. back. They're about to lose a hero. It's a Shadow Demon. And uh, Shadow showing he's the real Shadow of them all, staying way deep inside the base. The buyback will be there from Nova. And he's trying to take down that ward, but it's not going to be good enough. There's the Lunas. Going to be potentially isolated here, but he's able to get a good hold here. Kangaroo dishes the burrow. She tries to get off the right click, but that's when Ice Ice makes his jump in. They focus her down. There is going to be a disruption save, but it's only temporary here. Shadow's going to look to get the finish onto Nova while they clean up the Luna. That's her buyback. She is gone. The dieback is there from both. And this could be the beginning of the end. Wings Gaming hold out a struggling early laning phase here in hopes of clinching this one back. Kangaroo on the outside of the base here will be easily handled between the rest of Wings Gaming. Here comes Nana with the final Harava defense. All on him right now to defend. And he is dancing between four. He's trying to zap down one. He will be able to get it, but that is the only life he will get. He gets cleaned up there at the end. Wings Gaming wipe out Warriors Gaming, and that will be game number one. Oh, yeah. That was a really unfortunate ending for Warriors Gaming. Like, so many things went wrong so fast. Like, the fight in the woods, losing the Luna, she didn't even get the cheese off. Like, it was not enough.